What's up today, YouTube? Welcome to day seven of our China vlog. We made it to Chengdu, and now we're gonna get some hot pot. So we start the day off right by getting some hot pot, and here we are mixing up our own soy sauce. We're mixing MSG, oil, different types of leaves, sugar, and we're mixing vinegar. It's really, really cool. And this is the dipping sauce we're going to use for the various meats that we're going to dip inside the hot pot. Now I'm not going to lie, I probably didn't mix this properly, so it didn't taste as well as it probably should have, but nonetheless it's very, very good. And here they are bringing us the hot pot. I've had a hot pot a lot in New York City, but it's interesting to see how these other people who have never tried hot pot before like it. And on the inside we have a non-spicy, and on the outer ring we have spicy. And this is the toned down version, so there's not as many chilies as normal Chinese people, but it was still very spicy. And we dip in the meat, and it's very, very good. You have to wait till it cooks, so you're basically cooking your own food. They had everything from beef, pork, chicken, different types of cow tongues. It was all sorts of stuff. It was very, very tasty. Although I didn't like everything, it was very, very good. One thing I noticed about China versus American hot pot is they don't really have noodles. I was really looking for some noodles to go with this meal, but they never came. So we enjoyed the meat instead and the chilies. Very, very tasty, very, very good. Next, we're on the bus to the Chengdu Panda Breeding Center. This is awesome. It's really, really cool to see all the different types of pandas they have here. Here's our first encounter with the panda. It's really, really awesome. Look at them. Look at how playful they are. They're just having a ball. They're having fun. They're eating their bamboo. They eat all day. They eat like 80% of the day. All they do is eat, 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 eat. They basically have every disadvantage in the animal kingdom. They are not the survival of the fittest. That's why they are barely endangered. And it's very interesting to see how they survive today. Basically because they're so cute. We really want to preserve them, and it's really, really awesome. They are amazing, and they are very, very cute. And I'm very, very happy and pleased to know that they are making a recovery. Back 10 years ago when I was in middle school, they were in the endangered species list. I talked to my biology teacher, and he didn't think that they would ever get off the endangered species list. Now they are off the endangered species list, and they are doing a little bit better, but they are still going to need human support to be able to succeed into the future. It's very, very sad how many animals we lose each year to deforestation, and these animals lose their home. Now the panda breeding center that we did go to, however, does not offer pictures with the pandas. There is another panda breeding center that does offer pictures with the pandas, but it is 300 US dollars to take a picture with the panda. I don't know if it's worth it, but I hope the proceeds go to the animals. And here are the baby pandas. Oh my god, they are so, so cute and adorable. Look at them. Oh! Whoever works here has an amazing, amazing job.
kind of bears are really, really cool. Makes me want to climb in and jump and play with them. Be like the next Harambe. Oh, wow, just amazing. And next up we see the red panda and they are just as cute. Luckily these aren't as endangered as the giant panda but they are so cute. Unfortunately they were sleeping or moving around so we couldn't get a good picture. Now we're boarding on the boat to go to the Lushan Giant Buddha, and this is going to be amazing. This is a giant Buddhist statue carved out of the rocks of a cliff. So amazing, so beautiful, so awesome, amazing work here. <laughs> Now if you do go to the Lushan Giant Buddha, I definitely recommend taking the boat. You're going to get the best viewing angles for looking at the Giant Buddha. And if you hike it, you're not going to get to see as much of it as you do from the boat. You will also save a lot of time by taking the boat as you don't have to waste time hiking or waiting for people on the cliffs. I'm sure going on the cliff is amazing, but getting these photos from the boat was amazing. So that was the Lashan Giant Buddha. It was pretty, pretty cool. Uh, really, really big. And I got some good pictures of it, so it was cool to see it. Definitely better than uh, walking on that little road over there. So we got a good view from the boat. So if you come see this, we definitely recommend taking the boat because you get a lot better view. But look at this, this is just fucking amazing. Check this out. This river is absolutely disgusting. It's horrible to see people throw like refrigerators and chairs in here. And next we go to one of the clubs for some dancing and this is really really awesome. It was so much fun. I felt like a celebrity here just because I'm American and they instantly treat you like gods. It was amazing. So so much fun. It brought me up front and it was really really cool and had a lot of fun. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 